Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lane. In this video, I will show you a game between Elitza Reva and Ariel Barrett. This is a game from Chess Olympia, the women's section, played in Baku in 2016. Elitza Reva played with white pieces representing Bulgaria. She is a Bulgarian champion. And played with black pieces, Ariel Barrett is representing Jamaica. Let's look at the game. Elitza Reva started with d4. Ariel Barrett played d5. c4, c6, going for Slav defense. Knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3. d takes on c4. This is now Slav defense. If e6, then we would have semi-Slav defense. d takes on c4. a4, preventing b5. Bishop to f5, e3, e6, bishop takes on c4, bishop to b4, fighting for the control of e4 square. Elitza Reva castled kingside, knight from b to d7. White to move. Elitza Reva played h3. Queen to e2. Knight to h4, attacking the bishop. And queen to b3 are the three most played moves. We have h3 preventing bishop to g4. Ariel, Barrett castled kingside. Queen to e2 vacating the square for the rook, slowly preparing e4. Bishop to g6, rook to d1. Queen to e7 intending to play e5. Why to move? Bishop to d3 was played. Knight to h4 is sometimes played too, attacking the bishop. In our game we have bishop to d3. Bishop takes bishop, queen takes bishop, rook from f to d8, bishop to d2, e5. Black is doing well so far. Why to move? Queen to f5 was played. Black to move. Perhaps the best move would be bishop to d6. But Ariel Barrett played g6. Attacking the queen, sending the queen back. But this may be a problem later. So we have queen to c2. Black to move. Ariel Barrett played e4. Better was bishop to d6 or a5. e4 was played. e4 is a blunder. Why? How? What would you do? Please pause the video and find the best move for white. What did you find? Did white take the pawn on e4 or not? Elitza Reva Captured the pawn. Now you see why bishop should be on d6. Or perhaps a5 should have been played. The game continued. Knight takes on e4. Bishop takes bishop. Queen takes bishop. Queen takes knight on e4. And white is a pawn up in a better position. Because black king is more vulnerable. If knight to f6, queen to c2, defending the pawn. So, Ariel Barrett wanted to equalize materially. But now queen to e7, intending knight to g5. And then queen takes pawn on f7. Knight to f8. If h6, rook from d to b1, queen to c3, rook to a3. And white is better. Knight to f8. But now knight to e5. Threatening queen takes pawn on f7. Queen to b3, defending the pawn. Rook from a to b1. Queen to d5. Rook takes pawn on b7. Black to move. c5 was played. Of course, Ariel Barrett considered queen to e6 and didn't like the endgame that comes out of it. The game would continue like this then. 
Rook from D to B1. Queen takes Queen. Rook takes Queen. Rook to E8. Rook takes Rook. Rook takes Rook. Knight takes on C6. Easily winning for White in the end game. So, Ariel Barret played C5. Knight takes on F7. Rook to D7. Trying to complicate the game, but it didn't work. Position was lost anyway. White to move. White played the move and Black resigned. The move is... Knight to h6. Black resigned in view of this continuation. King to h8. Queen to f6 check. Rook to g7. Queen takes rook. Check. Mate. Let's go back to the critical position of the game. Okay, in this position, perhaps g6 should not have been played. Better was bishop to d6. But after g6, queen to c2, there comes a second blunder, e4. a5 was better and black would be okay. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.